Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. I hope you all are doing amazing. Today, I'm going to be tapping into the energies of your love life. So it's going to be your general love read for the week here. So pretty much whatever comes out for you guys. Alrighty, for my Capricorns, please. So what do we have here? Enemy. Hmm. Okay, so we're definitely going to clarify these energies, but so far I feel like maybe there's some sort of frustration here. Maybe you feel like um, you are doubting someone's intentions at this time, Capricorn. Um, it's, it's almost like if you're in contact with this person, you're kind of like, okay, what are we doing? What do you want? You know, you're kind of like on the fence right now is what I'm picking up on. Um, but more so like a doubtful energy or the best way for me to explain it is you're wondering what someone's true <clears throat> intentions are here. Okay. And, and sorry about that, guys. I do have a sore throat. Just bear with me here. Okay. I just feel that you could be questioning someone and their motives at this time. You feel like they're either not telling you everything at once or you feel um, intuitively, like in your gut, you have this instinct about this person um, keeping something away from you or, or kind of moving a bit discreet. So there's definitely some sort of resistance here, guys. I am picking up on that. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> Surprise. Okay. So something is coming to the forefront here where it's bringing you clarity, but you don't expect it, right? I don't see this as a negative surprise. I see this as positive, but it's almost like it's either you're finding something out about this person that you didn't anticipate to, you know, figure out and it catches you by surprise or there's something that you're already intuitively feeling and then you're kind of getting some sort of confirmation where you're like, wow, so what I was thinking, I would, it was right. You know what I mean? Like confirmation for something you're intuitively feeling. Child, okay. So there could be children in this dynamic here, Capricorn, or this is something maybe that you guys spoke about with this person. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. But this could be something that you guys, you know, spoke about with this person, or it's the fact that there's something to do with an inner child here, right? Like you could be very healing to this person. They can view you as very secure, like they're very comfortable around you and in your energy. But why do I feel like you question it, though? Like it's almost like maybe in the past year you feel like maybe you got the short end of the stick or um, you were kind of giving more to the connection than you were receiving. So if in one way or another you feel that things were one-sided, I do feel that, um, you know, this is the reason why you could be questioning, you know, this person's motives at this time. This could be an energy of you feeling that there's an age gap or you feel like this person's a tad bit immature here. <clears throat> Uh, alrighty, let's see. So as I split my deck here, guys, we have the Wheel of Fortune as well as the Four of Swords. Okay, so either you're not speaking to this person right now or you guys are speaking, but it's very in and out. It's like maybe it's really consistent or it's not consistent at all. Like it's it seems to be no in between here. What I do see is a desire for a turn of events with the uh, you know Wheel of Fortune. I do feel like your person wants some sort of progress here, but when you have the four of swords, it talks about someone who's doing more thinking than doing pretty much, right? So I feel like there's a lot of thinking going on in solitude, but I also feel that right now your person is thinking about the past and the history that you guys share together. There could have been some sort of um, betrayal here, okay? There could have been some sort of pain. What's very interesting, guys, I split my deck and these two were just... Um, flipped around. Wow, that's interesting. Sorry, just this card here, but the Enchanter, what's behind this card? Okay, so we have the Magician and then we have the Queen of Swords. I just thought that was interesting. That usually like doesn't happen with my decks, but 
you know, what I'm getting here, guys, is someone who's trying to manifest a new opportunity with you. Yes, Capricorn. But I feel like there was some sort of heartache in the past because the Four of Swords comes after the Three of Swords, which means you guys are still actively healing from something that occurred here. Okay. I do feel like on your person's end, there's a lot, a lot of like um, thinking, maybe even a tad bit of a stressed out energy. But what they want to do is manifest this, you know, turn of events, right? Um, let's see. <clears throat> is being clarified by the seven of challenges which is the seven of swords in this deck okay capricorn some of you plain and simple you don't trust this person due to past actions not only do you feel like this person was very dishonest with you <clears throat> but you do feel that they were keeping you in the dark about something that was very important to you so the first step here is probably regaining trust but some of you feel like this person did something and they tried to get away with it and that's what bothers you because you almost look at the situation like, okay, well, if I, like, as a generic example, you're probably thinking, like, if I didn't bring it up, would you have admitted, you know, your faults to me? Um, some of you may be involved with an air sign, you know, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but I just feel you view this person to maybe be an individual who communicates when you, with you when it's convenient for them, or someone who will only explain their self or their actions if they feel the need to. So it results in you feeling misunderstood because it's almost like, okay, well, you know, if you hurt me and I tell you that you hurt me or I'm, you know, expecting some sort of explanation, you can't just close off on me. You can't just avoid me. Like that's the kind of energy that I'm getting here. I feel like there's frustration pertaining to communication and openness specifically, right? Because the seven of swords could sometimes be a bit of a sneaky energy or someone who, again, you know, is not being thorough with you they're not being all, as open as they can be and and you sense this i feel like continuously i feel like they're these the things that i'm telling you you have a gut feeling about Yeah, two of cups. This is soulmate energy, guys. You know, and, and that's the thing. Like, you know, if there was some sort of hurt here, the reason why, you know, the wound is pretty deep is because you guys really had high hopes for the future. The both of you, the middle cards are the mutual energy here. And I do feel like this is someone who um, loves you. And so this is why there's a lot of regret here, right? When we uh, split the deck in the beginning here, we had the wheel of fortune, but with the four of swords. It's almost like someone knows that they desire you and they want to make things right but they don't feel deserving of a second chance or they still feel some sort of guilt for what occurred in the past. Okay, um, this person feels like they either, you know, behaved immaturely or there's something here that they're embarrassed about and they feel like they can't reverse it. Um, so, you know, for example, if it was dishonesty, they're like, okay, I was dishonest with Capricorn in the past or I tried to get away with something with that Seven of Swords energy. Um, how am I supposed to reverse the effects of that? How am I supposed to now go tell Capricorn that I do love them and that, you know, they are my soulmate? Like, they probably wouldn't use those exact words, but I'm just saying, like, it, that's the idea behind it. Like, that's how your person's feeling. They're not sure how to have a turn of events. Do they want to, uh, you know, see some progress? Absolutely. But with that Four of Swords energy, they're very up in their head about it. <clears throat> a lot of regret here, guys. And, and again, like you guys can have a lot of differences between the both of you, but this person feels like you guys come together in a very beautiful way, right? Um, Okay, so you guys have the magician again. Wow, okay. Here's what I see, Capricorn. And the Queen of Swords in reverse wants to come up for you guys, so I'll put that there. Wow. So we, we see, those are the two cards that were like flipped on the back of my deck here and they're coming out for you again. So this is a very important message here, Capricorn. What I see is someone who's manifesting some sort of change with you. <clears throat> but this could have been someone who was emotionally manipulating you in the past, 
okay, with that Queen of Swords in reverse, you don't feel like this person is telling you the truth here. You feel like there's more than what this, like if they're communicating with you, you feel like they're only telling you about like 50% of what's really going on or how they're feeling. There's not, there's a lack of trust here, but not only that, some of you do not trust this person to change their actions or, or you don't believe that there will be changed behavior here. What they were dishonest um, about in the past could have really affected you. Like for some of you, it could have been something very important, like hiding, um, you know, another family dynamic away from, uh, you know, away from you, keeping that away from you or, um, you know, spreading themselves too thin. But either way, it caused a wound that was very deep where you're like, I don't know if I trust you or anything you say. Okay, and some of you, the um, what you're having a hard time getting over is the emotional manipulation, potentially even gaslighting with that card there, because it could be that, um, you know, when you bring up what's wrong to this person, they kind of turn the wheel on you. And some of you feel like this person's also in a victim mentality. Okay, let's see, seven of swords. Yeah, a tower moment. This person sneaking away or keeping something from you caused an abrupt change in this bond. Whether that means you were like, you know what, I've had it up to here, I'm leaving, you know, that sort of thing. Um, it could have potentially led to a separation, but this person feels like things happened so quickly. You understand what I'm saying, Capricorn? This could be a Scorpio that you're involved with, but they just feel like they don't, um, they weren't ready to accept the changes as they occurred. And it was a massive change here. It's almost someone who knows their behavior caused some sort of really large reaction out of you that they don't know how to apologize. They don't know what to say. They don't know if they can fix this. It's almost like, this person feels so much disappointment from your end that they're embarrassed by because I keep getting a download of someone feeling embarrassed or like, um, you know, purposely like not trying to think about the situation because again, it puts them in a negative space. And it's because it could be something that's internal, right? Like if this person feels like they wronged you or disappointed you in one way or another, when they think about it, they become very difficult on themselves, right? Um, and then, you know, moving forward, figuring out what to say to you, I feel like, that's where the disconnect is, you know, like this person, some of you feel like this person would rather choose to avoid this situation than, you know, be honest with you, but they are really regretful for the dishonesty here. They're really regretful for what they tried to keep away from you, which is obviously going to vary guys because it is a general read, but let's see if we can uh, further clarify. Seven of Swords in the Tower. Yeah, a large change, right? Some of you feel like what goes around comes around. Like this could be a case where you feel like the tables have turned. Like, you know, how you made me feel in the past, you, you need to understand how you made me feel. Because some of you feel like you went through this hurt on your own or like this person was just not trying their best to understand, you know, your perspective on things. And for others of you, it's just what this person did with that seven of swords energy that you're not willing to forgive. Or if you're willing to forgive, it's for the sake of yourself. Like you, you seem upset about it, Capricorn. You seem a bit frustrated about um, this energy here. And it's not something that you can just get over. I feel like because it is... Um, there's some sort of trust factor here, right? There's something to do with trust here. That's what makes it difficult. Cause you're like, okay, what you did makes me not trust you. How do I just trust you again, right? Without changed behavior or without, uh, you know, forward communication. It's like, you don't know what to put faith in. You don't know what to hold on to because you feel like this person is not meeting you halfway. Okay, two of cups, wow. The Emperor. 
Yeah, it's an energy of holding back. Like some of you may be involved with an Aries, Taurus, or a Scorpio, like I mentioned, but I feel like this is someone who is um, who likes to be in control of their emotions. And, and this is what may um, rub you the wrong way as well, Capricorn. Maybe you feel like right now is not a time for this person to be in control of their emotions or put on some sort of mask. Like you feel like they owe you an explanation and you feel, you. some of you may even feel they're operating from a space of pride right like this is someone when they're embarrassed about their actions or they, or or they feel guilty they'd rather not talk about it that's what i'm picking up on and even though they feel like you're their soulmate with that 2 of cups energy you know with the emperor it's like okay well i can't show capricorn that or like sometimes the emperor can be someone where they're not comfortable being vulnerable there's something here that's letting me know that you are who knows this person the best like the way they act around you they don't act that way around anyone else that's what i'm picking up on and so you know that's great that you know you understand them to that level but it seems that right now you want this person to be understanding of what you're going through as well right because you feel like you've met this person halfway and you understand them when they're going through difficult times you're kind of like okay can you reciprocate that energy like i really need you to meet me halfway or do something for the first time Hmm, okay. Magician, King of Swords in reverse. Let's see. Like, you know, the Two of Cups is right in the middle of the read here, which lets me know this person really does desire you. They do view you as a soulmate, but like they are, they're very hard on themselves right now. They're feeling very guilty. They don't like to think about the situation because they feel so guilty about it. But then if they don't think about the situation and they want a turn of events, how can change happen, right? So it's like that back and forth mentality here. This is someone who wants change, but they just don't know how to make it happen. Yeah, King of Wands. This person is very passionate about you. This is, and here's what I will say, guys. Like, it seems that you guys are either opposites or you have a very different way of like being or thinking. Like, there's something here that clashes. And I feel like for many of you, it's opposing mentalities. You know, like King of Wands, Queen of Swords, we have the Emperor. Like, there seems to be one party here who's. A, a lot more closed off number one and number two much more impulsive than the other party so that's why i say that it could be like polar opposites here but you know with the king of wands clarifying this energy some of you feel like yes this person is passionate and and uh you know they tell me all the right things but you want to see more action here in your future cards you know because your closing card is king of wands it could be someone who wants to now nurture the situation they now want to um you know reciprocate the energy they feel to do in the past but the blockage here guys is the fact that this person is still um upset about the past they're still feeling guilty they're not even able to think about it at this time so i feel like for many of you you know this person their first step might be to think about it acknowledge what they did so that you know moving forward they can figure out um you know what to do next year because i feel like this is someone who's having a hard time just accepting the reality of the situation you know i feel like this tower moment really hit them hard okay let's see king of wands of wands yeah very guarded energy right now like it's interesting because in in your future here with the eight of um wands as well as the king of wands i do see this person communicating to you but some of you feel like they're still in an unpredictable energy or you may find that when they communicate with you they're not bringing up what happened in the past like this is someone who's not comfortable with their wrong actions or wrongdoings so like they would try to sweep it under the rug like i don't know if they would like bring it up because there's so much guilt shame embarrassment that they're not ready to talk about it do i see that this person wants to pursue something with you so they'll be communicating with you yeah i do see that but for those of you that want to have a conversation about what occurred in the past here i don't know if your person is at that at the point of speaking about that you understand what i'm saying capricorn because i do see communication i do see you know love here but 
Um, I also see that some of you are wanting to talk about the past, wanting to talk about the dishonesty that occurred. And um, for those, you know, select few of you, it seems that your person is still not able to accept the mistakes or the past um, uh, on their own yet. So it would be hard for them to speak about is what I see. Okay, so if they do speak with the Eight of Wands, what are they going to say? Eight of Swords, um, Ace of Wands. They would say that they're tired of being up in their head and they want a new beginning here. This is someone who wants to start fresh with you, Capricorn, right? And which is fine for those of you that are okay with that. But the but I'm also validating all of your emotions here. And those of you that feel like, no, I want to talk about what happened in the past or I, I still don't trust this situation, I don't think they're ready to talk about that. This is someone who more so wants to pursue this connection and they want to start fresh again, but they don't want to answer questions about the past. That's what I see here. Okay, so my beautiful Capricorns, I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.